This video will illustrate how to install the demonstration or trial version of Dynamics NAV 2016. You should have downloaded this file, which is a zipped file. So the first thing we want to do is extract all of it and we'll let it put it on the desktop. Once the programs have extracted, we'll need to open the folder and double click the setup. Then we'll just click through. We recommend that you install this as a demo. If you intend to explore the Outlook integration, uh, you will need to install Outlook before you install Nav. That's what this screen tells you. And now the NAV installer will proceed to install NAV. If it does not find a SQL Server installed, it will install SQL Express. And when it completes, it will tell us if there were any errors. See, the installation has finished. We'll click on View Problem Report. Take a look at um, what's going on. It says that uh, I need to restart the computer. Uh, SQL Server is waiting for me to restart the computer. So all of these are waiting for me to restart the computer. The Microsoft add-ins are not going to work uh, because, I mean, Outlook add-ins are not going to work. So what I need to do here now is to go ahead and restart. And once we've restarted, We'll come back. Okay, the system has restarted and here we are back at the desktop. We're going to reopen the folder with the application in it. Just scroll down to the setup and double click it again. And we're going to do pretty much the same thing we did before. Install a demo. It's going to warn us about Outlook, and this time it will find that it already has .NET, the version that it needed, installed, and it'll start immediately installing SQL Express. Once the installation is complete, we get the option to view the problem report. And here you'll see, as I mentioned initially, that we don't have Outlook installed, so we do get errors on the Outlook add-ins, and that's fine. So the installation is complete. Close everything out. And now we'll go ahead and add this to the start list. And we can run Dynamics NAV 2016. While that's loading, a couple of things uh, to note. There is a service that drives this. So you sometimes, if the service stops for some reason on your machine, will get a message that indicates that the service has stopped. You can check the status of the service in the uh, administration uh, product. And I'll just click on that. We'll also let that come up. You can stop, start, restart the service through this tool. Also, uh, with the sample license, you can post transactions in the last two months of the year, uh, November and December, and the first two months of the year, January and February. And there is a limit of about 7,000 plus or minus a few items that you can store in the database. Uh, we've never had anybody run into that, but there is a limitation in the database of that. So here's the uh, the administrative tool and you can see this is running and here I can start stop such the service if I need to and Microsoft Dynamics NAV is coming up and here's the initial role center which will default to sales order processor so that's the installation of Dynamics NAV 2016 we hope you enjoy working with the demonstration. Don't hesitate to
contact us um, if you need to. Data Guidance Group is a Microsoft Dynamics partner. We have been supporting, implementing, and modifying Dynamics NAV for over 10 years. We'd be happy to help you with your evaluation. If you'd like to contact us, that information is on the screen. Please provide us with your company name, company email address, and telephone number when contacting us for support. Thank you.